Well, it has been an emotional day in Texas as close friends paid their last respects to President George H.W. Bush. Let's take a look at live pictures from the Bush Library in College Station, Texas. President's remains were transported there by train after the funeral service in his hometown of Houston. Jay Gray is in Texas tonight. Jay. Hey, good evening, Devin. Good evening, Kimberly. Look, it's been a very special emotional day, beginning in Houston with family and friends and now ending here in College Station quietly at the president's final resting place. After four days of public mourning, today's service was private and personal. Today we are gathered to celebrate the life of a man that we all adored. 1,200 or so filling St. Martin's Church where President George H.W. Bush worshiped, his oldest grandchild and namesake, honoring his gampy. George Herbert Walker Bush was the most gracious, most decent, most humble man that I will ever know. His best friend and former Secretary of State, Jim Baker, struggling to say goodbye. Because our glory, George, was to have had you as our president and as such a friend. Long before his passing, Bush had asked his favorite group, the Oak Ridge Boys, to sing at his funeral. Bright shining as the sun. Another favorite, Reba McIntyre. For thine is the kingdom. Brought President George W. Bush to tears. As his flag draped casket left the chapel and adopted hometown of Houston for the last time, thousands lined the streets and train tracks leading to College Station as a locomotive bearing his name, carried the 41st president back to the place he always felt most comfortable, at his wife's side. So after four days of public tributes and services and almost 70 years of sharing him with the nation, the Bush family is finally getting their chance to grieve and remember privately as they say one last goodbye. In College Station, Texas, Jay Gray, Local 4.